data scientist's role combines computer science, statistics, and mathematics. They analyze, process, and model large sets of structured and unstructured data, then interpret the results to create actionable plans for the companies. So hello everyone, this is Pracheta from Edureka, and in today's session, we're going to discuss how to become a data scientist. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the Edureka YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Also, if you're interested in online certification course, do check out the link given in the description below. So without any further delay, let's discuss our today's agenda. So in today's agenda, we will see why to become a data scientist. Then we will see who is a data scientist. Next, we will see the job descriptions and skills required by a data scientist. After that, we will discuss how to become a data scientist and how to get started. So to begin with, why become a data scientist? The answer can lie in the demand for this job. So according to the job vacancy on LinkedIn, there's over 76,000 vacant jobs in India for data scientists. And in the American job market, there's over 240,000 jobs. So data science is definitely a booming industry currently. Now, if we talk about Bangalore, which is famously regarded as the Silicon Valley of India, or the IT capital of India, there's a vacancy of over 24,000 vacant jobs. And in the Silicon Valley of the world, California, there's over 20,000 vacant jobs. Now we will talk about the salary. Since there's a lot of vacancy, the demand for this job is pretty high. Though the competition is not that high. Now this will make you think about the salary package. Even though the competition is not that high, the salary for a data scientist is pretty decent. In India, it's on an average 7 lakh per annum, while in the US job market, a data scientist can earn around $10,560 per year. These data are based on Glassdoor. Now we will see the top companies hiring data scientists. Top companies to name are Deloitte, Accenture, TCS, Fractal, Mindtree, Amazon, Citrix, Flipkart, KPMG, and even companies like Mu Sigma, IBM, LinkedIn, EY, Genpak, ZS Associates, all of them hire data scientists. Next, we will see who is a data scientist. So a data scientist is a big data wrangler who gather and analyze large sets of structured and unstructured data. They are analytical experts who utilize their skills in both technology and social science to find trends and manage data. They use industry knowledge, contextual understandings, skepticism of existing assumptions to uncover solutions to business challenges. A data scientist's work typically involves making sense of messy, unstructured data and from sources such as smart devices, social media feeds, and emails that don't neatly fit into a database. Now we will see how does a data scientist help the organization. They help the organization in making smarter decisions, assessing business decisions, managing businesses efficiently, and use analytics to predict outcomes and even leverage data for business decisions. Next, we will see the job description and skills required by a data scientist. So from one of the big fours, Deloitte, their requirement for a data scientist job requires R in Python, W Power BI for business intelligence tools, and for data frameworks, Hadoop and Hive, and for ETL tools like SQL, Alteryx, SAS, etc. Even the knowledge of machine learning is helpful in data science. Next, we will see according to Accenture, they also require experience of Python and R and dependencies of Pandas, NumPy, KikitLearn, etc. In their requirement also, we have seen knowledge of BI tools like Power BI, Tableau, Qlik View, etc. And next, we will see the job description of a data scientist in LinkedIn. They also require a qualification with SQL, experience with data visualization tools like Tableau, Power BI, etc. And data analysis experience using Spark, Kela, or Hive, and a knowledge of A-B testing. Now we will see the skills required by a data scientist. 
First and foremost is organizational skills. A data scientist requires organization skills to make decision for the business. They also need to have analytical skills and concepts of database and knowledge of programming languages like R and Python. A data scientist also requires to know artificial intelligence, statistical analysis, machine learning, and data visualization tools like Tableau and Power BI. Now we'll look into the tools that are required to know by a data scientist. That are namely R, Python, Hadoop, Tableau, NumPy, Pandas, Apache Spark, and Power BI. Next, we will look into the roles and responsibilities of a data scientist. The roles and responsibilities are mostly to transform data into tangible business value by analyzing information and collaborating on product development. They also require to represent a scientific role where he plans, implements, and assess high-level statistical models and strategize for application. They are also required to perform a vital role in advancement of innovative strategies to understand the business, consumer trends, and management. A data scientist also performs related tasks and tasks assigned by senior data scientist, head of data science, chief data officer, or even the employer. They take leadership to explore different technologies and tools with a vision of creating innovative data-driven insights for the business. They are also required to collaborate with superior data scientists to communicate obstacles and finding to relevant stakeholders. Now we will see how to become a data scientist. So the pathway or roadmap to become a data scientist involves choosing a programming language to learn that can be R or Python, then learn statistics and probability to understand statistical tools to work with. They also need to have a hands-on experience in SQL to retrieve data and a knowledge of deep learning and exploratory data analysis and machine learning algorithms. Now, how to begin? So to get started with the learning process, you can look into our Edureka YouTube channel to start with. Even with no prior knowledge of data science, one can just go through the videos and can help get a hold of the topic. We even have Edureka blogs where you can read up on the topic at ease. The blogs have detailed information on the topics and can help you get a clearer picture. These are completely free and can be accessed by anyone. Apart from these, we also have premium lifetime courses where you can get access to the contents. Here you can get 24 hours support and lifetime access to the contents and you can learn at your own pace with live trainer who are extremely efficient and experienced in this field. These courses are even certified courses, so you can add the certificates on your CV. These courses can be learned even while parallelly working in another organization for a better opportunity and upskill your own knowledge. So that's it for today. I hope this video is going to help you decide on becoming a data scientist and you can have a clearer picture on how to become a data scientist. So that's it for today. Please like this video and share it. And if you have any doubts, do ask them in the comment section below. That's it for today's session. Thank you. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!